Hey, good morning all. Steve Rosefield, Brick Castle Studios, Squeaky Chair Productions, <laughs> Nashville, Tennessee. Hey, um, I threw up a little thing last night about the Nectar Panoramic CS12. Uh, got a million questions about it right away, most of which I don't know the answer to. How does it work with MIDI? Don't know. <laughs> what other con uh, plugins does it control? Well, I do know a little bit about that, but I don't know how you map other stuff. Um, but I just wanted to show you something real quick because for me, anyway, I've got a little project pulled up. I just wanted to show you how fast this thing moves, right? In terms of um, the ability to um, pull up different channels rapidly. And the game changer for me is that these buttons here, are pre-mapped for all of your plug-in slots. And so if I hit that, it instantly pops one up just like that. And perhaps more importantly for me, um, and as obviously as I move through to different ones, it cancels it. So um, as a guy who's been known to tweak a compressor at three in the morning only to find out it was the wrong one <laughs> more than once, for me, for 400 bucks, that's the game changer right there. The rest of the stuff it does is all a bonus. Um, but the color coding of the, I don't have a lot of different things assigned to this, but uh, as you, maybe you can't see, I don't know, because I'm not sure what the, what the video resolution will be. But as I change these, it changes the color codings of the stuff that it's mapped to. Now, the one question I do know is, um, Somebody asked me whether it works with UA stuff or Wave stuff. I have um, a handful of plugins from both. Both of them seem to immediately map without any additional work. So hope that's helpful. Um, uh, more as I know it, but uh, for a whopping 400 bucks, if you're a Logic guy, I think you want this. <laughs> anyway, have a great day, guys. See ya.